Hello, it's Greg Harrelson here with Century 21, the Harrelson Group, down in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I just wanted to, you know, reach out, send you some information. Hopefully, um, some of my real estate tips that I send out to you are making a difference in your career. And today, I just kind of wanted to share something that came up in a recent mastermind meeting that I had uh, with a few top agents uh, around the country. We, we were talking about the challenges that real estate agents seem to be having right now. And I've got two challenges that I, that I wrote down after thinking about the you know, the discussions we had. The number one challenge is this. It's, I don't have enough listings. I'm having a hard time getting listings. I don't have enough listings. Those are usually what, uh, how it's actually explained. And uh, especially for those real estate agents that are in markets that are hot and things are selling, average days on the market is practically immediately with multiple offers, commission cuttings going on. You know, things are just kind of almost out of control. A lot of times you have agents that are having a hard time getting listings in those markets. The, the second challenge is, is that the, uh, the way that the industry's going with Zillow's and Realtors.com, uh, Google PPC, it seems like buying leads um, happen to be the preferred way of, uh, of generating opportunities these days, at least on the buyer side. And what I hear is that the cost of these leads are continuing to rise and it's becoming a problem. So let me just start with number one. It's just, you know, having enough listings or getting listings in today's marketplace. You know, here's my thought. If you don't have enough listings, then what you need to do is get in front of more people. I mean, I, I keep things simple. If you want more of something, then you have to put yourself in position, give yourself an opportunity to get more of what you want. Now, some people, they will prospect. Maybe they're prospecting expires or cold calling centers of influence, past clients, and that's one way for them to get in front of more people. When they do that, guess what? they end up getting more listings. They find more people that are thinking about selling. Or maybe they're door knocking, maybe they're doing open houses. It's not my favorite, but those are some things that people are doing in order to get in front of more people. And so if you've got a, an inventory issue, meaning your inventory is not where you need it to be, then you need to go ahead and focus on getting in front of more people. And there's many, many ways to do that. The second thing that I have here is when you do get in front of people and it's a competitive real estate market, you've got to demonstrate your value. Now, what I, I, I guess that's just another way of saying you've got to demonstrate your skills. You've got to have great presentation skills when you are a skilled you know, communicator, when you know the real estate conversation, when you understand how to ask the seller the right questions to identify what it is they're looking to accomplish and then be able to offer them a solution to help them connect the dots between where they are right now and where they want to be, that's skill. That is skill. And I tell you right now, when you have those types of conversations with your seller clients or your seller prospects, they will see value in you. So if you'll get in front of more people, and when you're in front of more people, if you will demonstrate more value, you've got a leg up on your competition. The last thing on getting more listings is you've got to demonstrate confidence. Listen, Real estate is a game of confidence. When you go in and you're talking to somebody and maybe you're telling them a price that might be a little bit lower than what they hope to get, but you know the data's there, you know it won't appraise, so you're just giving them the honest truth as to what the value of the property is. If you go in there and tell them a price and you're not confident, you don't demonstrate confidence, you demonstrate weakness, they're not going to list with you. Listen, people are seeking out people that are confident. They really wanna know this. They wanna know, can you sell the home? Can you sell the property? And if you demonstrate confidence inside of your presentation, they will automatically believe that you are the person that can get the job done. So if you want more listings, get in front of more people, demonstrate more value, and demonstrate confidence when you're in front of them. Next, you got buyer leads. Buyer leads are costing too much money. Again, I see people have too few listings and their buyer lead acquisition cost is too high. And, I, and that's just the way the market is going. As more real estate agents um, move into buying leads, then that means there's more demand for the supply of leads. As there's more demand, guess what? The price of those leads continue to rise. So I, I, here, here's the thing that I just want you to really, really think about. Lead costs are only high when your conversion ratio is low. See, if your conversion ratio is high, 
then the lead cost is low. But if your lead cost is high, it's because your conversion ratio is low. No one's complaining about the cost of leads when they're converting into transactions. The only time people are complaining about the cost of leads is when they're actually not converting. So that's, that's, that's idea number one. The second thing that I wrote down here is this. If you're going to buy uh, Zillow zip codes and you're going to subscribe to Realtor.com and PPC, Google PPC, if you're going to do those things, that you have to make sure that you have great skills in the buyer presentation. Yes, I said it, buyer presentation. There is a buyer presentation just like there's a listing presentation. You have to take a professional approach and present to them your value, why they should be hiring you to, um, to help them find the property of their dreams or the property that fits their, their, their goals or their intentions at that time. So again, it comes back to conversion. If you have a good presentation, if you can deliver value and demonstrate value and demonstrate confidence in your buyer presentation, then that's going to convert to a sale and you won't be complaining about the lead cost being too high. Remember, lead cost is associated to conversion. So if conversion is low, then yes, you should be worried about your cost of the leads being high. And the last thing that I, I, I want to say here is this. If you want to drive your costs down on your leads, then you've got to self-generate. Now, I'm not saying that you have to give up Zillow and Realtor.com or any third-party lead sources. I'm not saying that at all. But what you want to do is you want to blend in some of your self-generated leads. Call your centers of influence and your past clients. You know, call, go, go out there and prospect for first-time homebuyers or whatever that niche is in your market and add some leads to your overall pool at a low cost, the cost of your time versus the cost of your wallet. And when you blend the cost, the ones that you're getting just out of your own actions, as when you're blending that with the cost of the ones that you're purchasing, you can drive your cost down. And if you're focusing on conversion, then the next thing you know, you'll have no issues with your buyer leads costing you too much money. You'll actually be happy and you'll start building a profitable business for yourself. So those are the two things that I just wanted to share today. You know, go out there and get more listings, just get in front of more people. If you want to drive the cost of your, of your leads down, then really work on your skills and, and increase your conversion rate. And increasing conversion rate leads to a decreasing cost of leads. That's it. Greg Harrelson here. If there's anything I can do for help uh, to help you out and to help you excel in your real estate career, I'd be more than happy. Shoot me an email. Please subscribe to this video uh, um, uh, channel, my YouTube channel. I, I'd really like you to get these videos whenever I do produce them. As you know, I do not send out a bunch of spam videos just to try to promote myself. I'm really wor working on contributing to the community of real estate agents all across the country. I appreciate your time and you have a wonderful day.